Have you ever wondered who the top 10 pastors are in the world? Even how they accumulated all that wealth? Well, in this video, we're going to talk about who they are and some of the ways they've gained all this money. Let's talk about it here on All Things Theology. Cue my theme music. All Things Theology, All Things Theology, we chop it up properly without an apology. Gotta get that theology to God, holla, because this is how we do it at All Things Theology. Yo, grace and peace. Welcome back to an episode of All Things Theology, where this is your host, K-Dub. And today, we're going to talk about the top 10 richest pastors in the world. Now, I understand that this video here will be met with different perspectives when it comes to wealth, but I want to handle it with charity. Let me let me first start off by saying I have no problem with a pastor being rich. If that's a qualitative word. If you worked hard from teaching and shepherding the Bible, since it does say a laborer is worth their wages. Also, it does say you shall not muzzle an ox. But I do want to provide a balance to the luxurious lifestyle of so many pastors we see on TV. Although I don't have a problem with pastor pos possessing wealth, there does seem to be a problem with many flaunting one's wealth and how they gain their wealth. We're going to elaborate on that topic more throughout this video, but let's start at number 10, richest pastor in the world. Coming in at number 10, this pastor who is more known for his shiny teeth and hair than his exegesis with a net worth of a hundred million. You know him, you love to hate him, Joel Osteen. If you're Jewish or Muslim and you don't accept Christ at all. You know, I, I just, I'm very careful about saying who and would and wouldn't go to heaven. I don't know. I think only God. you believe you have to believe in Christ. I so believe they're, they're wrong, aren't they? Well, either. I don't know if I believe they're wrong. I believe here's what the Bible teaches. And from the Christian faith, this is what I believe. But I just think that only God can judge a person's heart. I've spent a lot of time in India with my father. And, uh, you know, I don't know all about their religion. But I know they love God. And I don't know. I'd have to, you know, I've seen their sincerity. So I don't know. I just, I know. For me and what the Bible teaches, I want to have a relationship with Jesus. But I mean, why should anyone give their money to a pastor who just won't say what the Bible says? Nine. Coming in at number nine, at the time of his death, he was seen as one of the most prominent televangelists by many, tolling a net worth of a hundred and twenty million. Pat Robertson. I mean, that's the way he thinks, and he will be tremendous on the economy. Uh, he's uncomfortable with foreign policy, I feel, uh, but nevertheless, he'll be a strong, strong man. But if he comes in, secondly, uh, he's going to have a second term. He's going to win. Romney, Romney will win the election. Do you believe that? I absolutely believe that. What makes you believe that? Because the Lord told me. <laughs> well, that's why I'm glad, to, I'm glad to know. I wasn't sure how you knew. <laughs> really, the Lord said that to you? Yeah, absolutely. I, I told Mitt a long time ago, I called him, I said, listen, I've, I've, I've been in prayer. I, I, number one, you're going to win the nomination. Number two, you're going to win the general election. He said, well, what can I do for you? I said, well, give me a seat on the platform. <laughs> your inauguration. Give me a ticket to your inauguration. <laughs> Recently, the Lord said he's going to have a second term. So, I, and I and I, I told him, I said, listen, there's going to be there will be trillions of dollars coming into the economy when you're elected. Trillions of dollars. So you do see the economy turning. Oh my! If God. he wins the election, there'll be a flood of money that's on the sidelines into business, into real estate, and, and there should be a huge boom. The stock market ought to boom. Everything ought to boom. I, I would think, if he's elected. If on the other hand, oh, but the Lord told you he would be. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I trust God's voice. Well, we'll see. But uh, well, it, it's in the hands of the, the Lord and in the hands of the people. So I don't want to discourage anyone from voting. Like, they've got to get out and vote. But <clears throat> I not only did Pat Robertson partner with false teachers like Benny Hinn, but he gave false prophecies multiple times. Be careful who you give your money to. Change. Coming in at number eight, this Brazilian pastor is loaded, and I'm giving him the nickname the Brazilian Deliverance Minister. Salvador Pagani, Greg Locke, they got nothing on this guy, who is a total net worth of 125 million. Ramildo Ribeiro Soares. Got done for you. I had a problem due to arthrosis. My leg wasn't well. I had a spine problem too, but I feel much better now. How did you get here today? I got here kind of like. Dragging so my show leg. me. 
like, like that. This. Now walk normally. Oh, there's no comparison. Glory to God. Now I mean, I, I mean, I guess I saw a slight difference. I mean, your feet still dragging anyway. But if he can heal all those people, why would they still wear a mask? Seven. Coming in at number seven, shout out to my brothers and sisters in Africa who are always sending me content to review. This pastor is known for his word of faith theology. He reminds me of the African Benny Hinn, tolling a net worth of $126 million. I'm going to butcher his name. Chris Oyolukeme. God draws people to God and not to other gods, but to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and draws people to the Word, not to himself or to some other God. And then the things that he says come to pass. Now that's a little a little tricky because sometimes you have a true prophet who makes mistakes because there are some who have made mistakes. Uh, don't forget that you are not made a pastor or a prophet or an evangelist because you're perfect. So sometimes some of them can make some mistakes. Uh, I don't want you to judge them with their, their mistakes because sometimes out of enthusiasm, Enthusiasm, or that's over enthusiasm, or the expectations of those who are around them. Um, they can do or say things that they're not supposed to do, and then some might not even be living right. And so uh, things go wrong because they're not paying attention to the Holy Spirit. But that doesn't make them false prophets. See, a true prophet can make mistakes and say the wrong thing. Yeah, that's called false prophecy. And Deuteronomy 18 tells us not to listen to those who commit these mistakes. I mean, <laughs> false prophecies. <laughs> Coming in at number six, we're going to be staying on this content of Africa for this one. This pastor who states he's actually worth more than his net worth. And of course, he teaches the tithing lie. Coming in at 150 million net worth, Pastor David Oyadipo. Return to me and I will return to you. We are rich and I will return to you in tithes and in offerings. Every truth of scripture is valid for all times. And applicable to whosoever is interested in tithes and in offerings, in tithes and in offerings, in tithes and in offerings. He said, Bring all the tithes to my house. Now they will bring it to my house. Prove me now here with if I will not pour you out the window, open to you the windows of heaven, and pour you out the blessing until you shall have not room enough to receive it. Please understand, God does not change. Until you return, your glory cannot be restored. Until you return, your glory cannot be restored. You have wealth in your redemptive package. He became poor that you and have might be made rich. But the way to it is covenant practice. Whatever it says to you to do, do it. Do it. Do it. Now, he say for us. Power. Revelation 5 12. Riches, wisdom, strength, glory. Of course, you know they're just going to teach. In order for you to get your need, you got to sow that seed. Got to get that seed in. Five. Coming in at number five, guys, I can't make this up. This East African preacher makes Daniel Adams' deliverance ministry looks real. Tolling a net worth of 150 million, Shepherd Bushiri. <laughs> I don't even know commentary on that's just self-evident. Coming in at number four, if this man's creepy eyes won't scare you, then his heretical doctrine should do the trick. He's been in the heresy game as the OG leader for a long time. Coming in at a whopping $300 million, Kenneth Copeland. You need help feeding your babies, God bless your darling heart, then you ought to be helped. But I'm going to tell you something, you need to be tithing off that help. That's your increase. You need to be tithing that. Well, dear Lord, Brother Copeland, I'm in poverty now. I know it. I'm telling you how to get out. That's the gospel. 
I don't care if you ain't got but two nickels. Give him the first one. Oh yeah. For he has anointed me to do what? Preach the gospel to the poor. That's what the poor must hear. And in the gospel, giving is at the heart of breaking the curse of poverty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, now you just know when someone loves money, when they believe the gospel is giving them money. Coming in at number three, and unfortunately, I wasn't really able to find anything in English because he's a Brazilian pastor. His name is Valdemiro Santiago. All I know is it looked like he's trying to be the next coach of the Colorado Buffaloes. Coming in at number two, what's up with African pastors faking resurrection. This pastor puts the worst magician to shame, tolling a net worth of one billion dollars. Alf Lakua. My God, my God, my God. Yes, yes. What is his name? Jesus. <laughs> Elliot. Hello, Elliot. 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 Jesus. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. My good God. Barabasa Tabasa. Man of, is commanding life. Rise up! Come on! Come on! Hey! 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 You would think with $1 billion, he'd have like some special effects or something to actually make it look real, right? Come on, man. You got the money. Come on. One. And coming in at number one, he is the leader of the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God. And he is out of Brazil as well. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to find anything in English really uh, to capsulate his teachings. But I have never heard of a pastor being accused of more fraud and money embezzling schemes in my life. Tolling a net worth of $1.1 billion, he is no stranger to controversy, even had a movie made about him called Nothing to Lose, Eder Macedo. In audio. These are the top 10 pastors in the world, tolling a, a whopping millions, billions of dollars in totality, each one of them. From their book sales, sermons, etc., they have capsulated, I would say, largely on the ones we were able to uh, talk about off of false doctrine. And the Bible tells us about men who become lovers of money. The Bible gives a strict warning about that. Again, I have no problem with pastors who preach the word. They're faithful. They're faithful shepherds who've earned uh, financial gain off those things. The Bible actually, I would argue, encourages that. But never this flaunting of wealth. That is never the goal of the ministry. Once the ministry becomes solely about money, I would argue someone has been taken over by the love of money. Hope this video was helpful. Till the next time, grace and peace. Yo, grace and peace. Thank you for watching another episode of All Things Theology. If you enjoyed what you heard today, go on and give me a like. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. I promise to give you weekly lives, videos, interactions, exposing false teachers, sharing with you, the viewer, my theological beliefs, things about the culture and the Bible. So if you're here for that, come on and join us. Also, if you would like to support this channel financially, you can do so by becoming a Patreon member or a YouTube member. Links are in the description below. 
You can see content before it drops. You can also have Q&A sessions with also other Patreon members, YouTube members as well. So if you would like that, hit the description link in below.